Hi, this is Walcott Fine Art, and I'm Jason Walcott. Many beginning oil painters are actually surprised to learn that the best surface to work on is an oil primed surface, rather than the more typical acrylic primed surface. So today, I'll show you a couple of different oil primers on the market that you can try, and I'll also show you how to apply them. So, let's get to oil priming. guys and welcome back to my channel so uh, a few weeks ago or a month ago or two I did a video on surfaces that oil painters can paint on and uh, one of the things I talked about near the end of that video was oil primed canvas which is actually the best and most traditional things for oil painters to work on and I've gotten some questions uh, about that so th today I'm going to do this video showing you how to oil prime your own canvas if you want to do that. Now uh, as I showed the video you do have the option of buying the canvas that's already oil primed but that's very expensive uh, and you can do that uh, but like I said it is pricey when you when you uh, buy canvas that's already oil primed. So typically what I do is I'll take either a canvas panel or a stretched canvas and I'll buy just the regular one that's primed with acrylic gesso, which is pretty inexpensive. And then I'll put my own oil priming on it. And um, of course, my favorite canvas is the Masterpiece Pro Linen. Uh, and they do sell this uh, that comes primed with acrylic primer, acrylic gesso. So typically what I'll do is I'll buy those and then I'll put my own lead oil priming on it. Uh, now, if you don't want to use the lead because you're worried about uh, toxicity, that's fine. Uh, and there's three basic types of oil primers you can get. You can get the alkyd-based primers. This is like this one that's made by Gamblin. This is their oil, oil painting ground. Uh, there's also one that's very similar to this. It's made by Winsor & Newton. Uh, and these are oil-based, but they're alkyd-based. So they dry very quickly, and you can paint on them in about a week. Then you have the more traditional oil grounds. Uh, this is one made by Williamsburg. This is the titanium oil ground. And then my favorite, which I like to use, is the lead oil ground. Now, this is the one that's the most traditional and is the most... Um, pleasing and uh, wonderful surface to paint on but these these two grounds like this that are not alkyd based they're the linseed oil based these do need to dry and cure for a while before you can paint on them uh, at least a month so uh, but longer is better so typically what I'll do is prime can like spend a day priming surfaces with this stuff and then I'll set it aside for a month or two before I go to paint on it. And I always have some in reserve that I can grab that are more than a few months old so that they're ready to go. So I'll show you how to do it. Now, all, almost all of these, including this and, and the, other, the other kinds, they come out of the cans too thick to apply directly. So you're going to need to thin this down before you put it on the canvas. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So, and I'm going to be using the lead oil ground today. So now I will warn you the Williamsburg lead oil ground is very expensive. Um, so if you are on a budget and you want to try this, then I recommend the titanium oil ground because this will be much less expensive. Uh, this little can like this runs about, I think, like 80 bucks, and then the larger 32-ounce can is even more. Uh, but it does it does go pretty far. You can cover a lot of canvases with this. So now you'll see this typically needs to be stirred because the oil will separate. So I'm going to stir this and then we'll come back in a second. Okay, so now that I've stirred this, uh, and just make sure when you stir, you get all the way down to the bottom of the can and really, you know, scoop up all this stuff because the pigment will kind of settle out. So you can see it's very thick at this point. 
And you need to thin that down a little bit to put it on the canvas. So I'll just scoop a little out here into a jar. Glass jars work for the, great for this, or if you have old uh, food container jars, old mayonnaise jars, something like that, just wash them out and you can save them for this. And then, I'm gonna wanna thin this down with a little a gamsol or thinner. So we just put a little bit in there and then stir it around. When it's properly thinned, it should be a little bit a little bit thicker than the normal acrylic gesso, but thin enough to be spread easily or painted on easily, which is about so it should be about the consistency of really soft yogurt or really, really thick, like heavy cream. Stir, 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 stir. Okay, that's good. Okay, and then I just take a natural hair brush. Like this is an Escoda brush. Uh, and I think I ordered that from Blick. It's just a basic gessoing brush. And then you just dip that in. And then you're going to work this into the canvas. And you'll see it is a little thicker than the acrylic. Just so, but you just paint that on like this. And remember, this canvas panel I'm using here is already primed with acrylic gesso under this. So I'm just putting this layer of oil priming on top of that and allowing the acrylic gesso to act as a as a sizing. Because you, the one thing you never want to do, don't ever paint oil paint or oil priming onto a raw canvas because it will just it will destroy the canvas the the oil literally will over decades turn the canvas fibers into dust so the can raw canvas always needs to be protected from oil paint by a layer of size glue sizing or acrylic primer or something like that so and then once you get this covered all thoroughly, then I just brush over lightly in in one direction like this. To kind of even out the brush strokes because this will leave a, a this will leave very slight brush strokes in your surface. So um, just brush over that lightly to even it out. And pretty much that's all you need. I, I typically just do one coat. And so because this is the lead primer, this will dry to the touch in like five to seven days. And then it will be ready to paint on um, in a month or so. Six months would be better. Uh, but if you give it at least a month, that's for the lead. The titanium ground, which is also, this will take much longer to dry because titanium is not as fast of a dryer as lead is, the lead pigment is. So this will take probably several weeks to dry and you will need to wait a month, you know, beyond that or several months beyond that to paint on it. Uh, if you decide to go with the ground, the Alkid ground made by Gamblin or Windsor Newton, um, then this will be dry in like 24 hours and you can paint on it in about a week. So. I hope I got everything on camera there. It's hard to tell with this. Uh, I'm using my camera phone, so it's a little harder to tell <laughs> where where is everything's positioned. Okay, so so that's basically how you... Um, and then, you know, this can be rinsed and washed like a normal oil painting brush when you're done. And then you can just save, seal the jar and save the rest of that. And so that's how you do uh, oil priming on a canvas and if you've never painted on an oil prime surface with oil paints uh, try it because it's a it's a totally different experience and it will really open your eyes so i thank you for watching and take care 
Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com, where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!